I think that we have a pretty open book. She can tell me anything. Like many mother-daughter relationships, the one between Sarah Blanks and Abby is a special one. She once told her friends that I was her best friend until she gets in trouble, mm -hmm. um, which I think is great. And along with each other, one of the things they share a love for it's me. Is Taylor Swift. I was the Swifty first. One Blanks first developed as a teenager, since she and Swift are the same age. She was going through the same thing I was, heartbreak, um, friendships, friend struggles. And Abby was an early convert. She would just like dance and shake it off in her car seat. It's just been a love story ever since then. Song pun very much intended. Like her mom, Abby has been drawn to what Swift sings about. As I'm getting older, I can like go back and listen to her music that she made when she was struggling with the same things that I am now. And the pair have made several trips to Swift concerts, including the opening of her current Eras tour. I didn't know until a week before. So I was just kind of in shock. I was crying out of happiness. And was... I actually was watching her the majority of the concert. <laughs> now, screaming and singing along with the Chesterfield family are tens of thousands of other fans of the artist known as Swifties. And it was that group that Blanks reached out to about a month ago as Abby approached her 13th birthday. Being a teenager is hard. Um, being a teenage girl is even harder. She's had a lot of struggles this past year. Blanks put this post out on social media, asking fellow Swifties to send in cards to help celebrate. All I wanted was to give her the best 13th birthday. <laughs> Blanks says her expectations were around 20, but in reality... It's a lot more than 20. Yeah, it's a lot more than 20. It was then that I realized, oh, <laughs> this is a big deal. Blanks was able to keep her request a secret from Abby and last Thursday had the big reveal, decorating her room from top to bottom and wall to wall in well wishes. Happy birthday! I didn't think the cards were actually like actual cards. And then I started opening some and they were actual cards from people all over the world. I was just completely shocked. At last count, 250 people sent cards and gifts from across the U.S. and around the world. Portugal, Brazil, Argentina. I hope you have the most magical birthday ever. I know things can get tough, but that's what makes us stronger. As Miss Swift says, breathe in, breathe through, breathe deep, breathe out. You are going to be such a strong, smart, and incredible person, so don't let anyone dull your sparkle. Among the cards were things like friendship bracelets, a Swifty staple, and jars of her quotes. Life isn't how to survive in the storm, it's about how to dance in the rain. For Abby, the experience has been a lesson in community. I think it shows that you don't really have to know someone for them to actually like care about you. I have cried multiple times just thinking about it. <laughs> and for Blanks, that's exactly what she wanted her daughter to see. I know I personally have struggled finding a community that supports me. And um, I know that being a teenager is difficult to find a community. So I think it's important to be able to show her what it looks like.